Hey, what's going on guys? Dillard here, welcome back to the drawing table. Uh, what I have here is I have a mid middle panel here. It's gonna be the middle of the page. Um, and this is for the Canadian Buckler Ash Can. Uh, in this scene, in this particular scene, the buckler is uh, getting his cape. He has a really long cape. It's like uh, probably about seven feet. Um, and it's, uh, it's, it's supposed to be trailing behind him about a foot and a half, two feet. It's really oversized. And he's getting that cape ripped off of his back by the Canadian Shield. Now, the Canadian Shield is doing this because um, he came down, and in the previous panel came down in real dramatic fashion, and uh, kind of stopped what was going on between the the the, the buckler and the, uh, the the people that he was trying to uh, intervene with the, uh, the the crime scenario that was happening. Uh, however, he made too much of a ruckus, and he ended up causing uh, an incident uh, where a girl gets stabbed. So the shield has to come down and put a stop to all of that. So what he does is he comes down, you know makes a big dramatic entrance uh, so as to kind of shock everybody into, into, into uh, freezing. Um, after he does this, he kind of surveys the situation. He sees this girl needs to be taken away, taken to the hospital uh, to be healed up. Well, hopefully they can save her. Um, he, but, you know, she's bleeding out and she's uh, exposed. Her body's exposed, you know. So what he does is he takes the, uh, the, the, the cape from the buckler, rips it off of him, and starts to, to wrap it up around her. Uh, in, this, in this panel... Um, I wanted to make it real dramatic because in, in a sense I wanted to give him the ultimate shame because um, he comes down he tells he tells the buckler that you know you need to wrap it up you're not you're not doing a good job as a hero and you need to stop just to stop it um, and to kind of put um, you know in the military in the movies you would see them come and rip the uh, <laughs> the emblems off of their off of their uh, you know their uniforms and all that so I wanted to symbolically kind of do that and I wanted to get the uh, the shield to grab his cape and just just rip it off of his back uh, I tried, decided to give him a little um, hilarious pose. Um, so what I wanted to do was I wanted to make this more of a uh, hilarious thing. Um, so I gave him a very feminine pose, a pose you might see a woman trying to cover her breasts, you know. So he, he, he has that motion going on. The other hand's real flamboyant up like that. Just kind of giving, giving it the drama of like, oh, I just got my, uh, I just got my, uh, you know, my my uniform just destroyed my, my superhero uniform that I've worked so hard on. And I tried really hard to be, you know, the best that I can be just taken away. So that's what I wanted to, to ensure here. Now there's a scene here where the buckler's ripping, you know, and I, I, I might actually change the hand now that I'm looking at it a different way, but, uh, I made it originally way too close. It was way too big. Um, he, even though he does have big beefy arms, it, it was too close to the viewer. So I had to erase it completely and, and try it again. Tried a couple of different poses with the hand. I wanted to make it real dramatic, but um, the most dramatic would be pulling away but like this, but you won't actually see the uh, the hand. And I, I want to show the angle of the hand, you know, like you know, whatever. So, But I may actually go back and change that to make it actually tilt in towards his face. Uh, that's for the shield in the background there. But uh, everything else came out perfect. So enjoy the rest of the video, and I will see you guys later on with another video. Peace out, y'all.